y'all, it's DJ Gaming and I'm back with episode 10 of the Power Couple Scenario. So Carmen is just doing a little bit of baking because they actually have a party that's about to start. And yes, Miss Elena just walked in the door. She literally just showed up out of nowhere, which is really great. I love that. Um, she is making some cornbread. She has put some whiskey out. They finna get turned, okay? Uh, Quinn was actually just taking a little nap on the couch and I think he's pretty much good. I really want him to go ahead and turn the game on because the game started a little while ago. So he's gonna turn the game on and we're just kind of waiting for the party to start. I think our door is unlocked. Okay, great. Quinn's gonna gonna start a little bit early. He's gonna grab him one of those, one of those drinks. I can't remember. I think it's whiskey. I think it's Jack Daniels. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, I think her mom might be helping her cook, which is really cute. She definitely needs to give her mom a hug. Oh, fight? That's so aggressive. Um, let's go ahead. I made it a neighborhood potluck because I wanted everybody to... I feel like my game is so loud, but I wanted everybody to bring something to eat. Quinn is about to have to pee for sure. So we have Nina Caliente, which I don't think that Quinn has met. <laughs> Nina came in and she immediately grabbed a drink. That is hilarious. And then this is Margie Crane. I don't know if y'all remember her from, I think the first episode, um, she was playing chess. And so her and Carmen have become pretty good friends. Um, of course, Carmen changed. I really don't want her to wear this. I had you in this because it was chill, you know, and you didn't have to do too much. So, oh, who's this and why is she so angry? I don't even know who this is. I can't lie. Oh, this is Angele. Hey, girl. So we definitely did invite Angele. And Mani was still in town. So Carmen was like, yes, girl, please, please come. So Quinn is officially burnt out, which we love. <laughs> Why is everybody in such an angry mood? Like, I don't appreciate this. And she's just standing in the middle. Okay. I don't know why everybody decided to just convene in here and try to help Carmen cook. But I mean, you know, to each their own. So her auntie is here. Who keeps turning on this music? So her auntie brought some hot dogs. I'm not sure who brought this cake, but you know, that's fine. I'm going to have him come over here and sorry, I had to pause because it was getting way too loud. So I'm going to have him go over here and give her auntie a hug and just say hey thank you for coming back because y'all they literally just had a party so that's kind of hilarious um i want him to also go ahead and start watching the game carmen should be done soon oh what the heck that's weird anyways okay people are just flirting apparently um, Carmen actually didn't get to get a nap in, which really sucks because she's so tired. Quinn is over here watching the game and talking to Auntie Melody. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is going on? Okay, hold on, y'all. Let's see if there's a neighborhood action plan that has... Pe yes, I was about to say it has to be free love because everybody is just really lovey-dovey and i'm not i'm not for the vibes i'm sorry mm -mm. and then the rough housing both of them no we're getting, we're getting rid of both of them oh my gosh rough housing and courage no thank you so quinn is going to be one of the first to go ahead and grab some cornbread i really wanted him to wait for the why is everybody in here oh my gosh everybody is in here that's so funny i don't think he met margie so go ahead and introduce yourself to margie oh he did okay great 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 great. so derek it th for this to be a, a basketball party almost like a super bowl party there are a lot of women in here so carmen said no babe i'm inviting all of my friends <laughs> which is hilarious so auntie melody decided to join carmen and throw it down in the kitchen which I'm kind of obsessed with. It is so loud in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to turn the TV back on. I'm not sure who turned it off. And I'm going to also turn on all the lights. Just so that we can see. This is a cute little party. I don't know what is going on. There's so much going on. So it looks like Auntie Melody is putting something in the steam cooker. 
Carmen, I really want you to stop talking so you can get this seafood boil done. There's so many people in this kitchen. Oh my gosh, Carmen has a pristine reputation. I love that. So her mom decided to head out. She was like, mm-mm, there's too many people in here. <laughs> um, okay, so Carmen's gonna wash her hands because she feels like her hands are really dirty, which is fine. Um, let's see what this, look at this boil. Oh my God, Carmen. <sighs> Quinn is so lucky he locked you down, girl, because that seafood boil is looking too good. Look at Auntie Melody. <laughs> Auntie Melody is throwing it down as she should. This is a cute little party. And I know y'all are like, um, hello, why are they having party after party? Y'all, this is their life. You know, they they love being around people. And I just find that really, really cute. So Quinn has to take a little potty break, which is totally fine. She is in here like, I don't want to be bothered. Everybody leave me alone. That's a mood. I can't lie. Carmen scarfed that boil down. Oh, apparently, I think that's the samosa soup or the, the, I forgot what kind of soup that is, but it's hot. <laughs> it's making everybody's mouth on fire. So I know that Carmen has the option to take the pregnancy test, but we're not going to do that. I don't feel like that's a necessary thing to do right now. The only reason that I started tonight was because I really wanted to um, see the party, you know, and we're not going to waste any of these drinks. Okay, so we'll call Angele and our uncle to have a drink. I'm not really sure why um, nobody's eating anything for real except the stuff in the steam cooker, which is okay. You know, at least they're eating. Carmen... I think she's also going to take her turn to watch what's going on with the game. I don't know where Quinn is or what he's doing. Do I have my autonomy turned off? I do. I was like, why was Carmen just standing there? I probably did it for like a photo shoot or something. Um, Quinn, go ahead and grab that drink for me, bud. Everybody is really just like chilling in the guest room, which is fine. I'm not tripping about it. So she wants to talk to her cousin Amina. I don't know if she's actually seen her, so go ahead and run over here and give her a hug. I know y'all are probably like, why are you so zoomed out? Because it is loud in here. Uh, let's see, she didn't knock off watching the sports channel, so maybe we'll try that again. Did Quinn knock it off? Okay, he did. This says to fight, but I don't wanna fight anybody. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of cleaning up. Oh, they earned a sentiment, that's so cute. I think Carmen is definitely going to start doing some cleaning up because hello uh hello oh hello uh uh-uh uh-uh look at her face oh there's no way this is happening right now this is one thing about the game that I don't appreciate I can't lie like I don't like how because Quinn's flirty, he's flirting with somebody else. Like, I just, I don't like that. Please don't tell me they gained a romantic relationship because no. Okay, they didn't. So, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> Carmen watched the game. Great. So I'm going to have her start doing some cleaning up. The potluck, I think, should be over soon. I don't know. My game's a little glitchy over here. Okay, yeah. We got about two hours. But I'm, yeah, I was about to say, I may end it early because it's like 3 a.m. So everybody can leave. Please go home. Thank y'all. See y'all later. <laughs> so Quinn is going to assist his wife in um, cleaning up just because he doesn't want her to do it by herself, which is really sweet. As you all know, our Mount Como trip is coming up on Friday. Our flight leaves Friday night. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just play Thursday off camera. They're just literally gonna go to work and Carmen might even have a little girls night and go out with her friends because she really needs it. She needs to spend some time with her friends, especially before they leave for Mount Como on Friday. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play through Thursday and I will see y'all on Friday. So I know I said, <laughs> I know I said I was gonna see y'all on Friday, but I just wanted to pop in real quick because it's still Thursday. And Quentin, 
Quentin texts Carmen and he says, today made me so angry. One guy just kept asking me about my day over and over again. You think I'm just gonna be your friend if you keep repeating the same question over and over? Sheesh, some sins. Um, <laughs> I don't know why this man always texts Carmen's phone. Like, I guess he just knows better to not text Quinn. <laughs> I'm not really sure, to be honest. But um, just try to calm him down, I guess. Calm down? Calm down? What do you think I am? I'll calm down when I'm ready to calm down. Yikes. Okay, sir. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see y'all in a little bit. So it is bright and early Friday morning, and Carmen and Quinn literally woke up just in time to be on time for work. And they are going to go and brush their teeth. I don't know what's going on with my game. Oh, you're feeling all of your emotions for the day? Great, great. The throughout Thursday, I noticed that Carmen was like really, really tired <laughs> and like taking naps and stuff. And Carmen does not nap for real. So I don't really know. And she hasn't, she's woke up with like a really, really big headache. And I don't know what that's about, but hopefully she feels a little bit better because it's spooky day and yes we are leaving for our trip on spooky day um which i'm really excited about i don't know what's going on with quinn over uh -huh. here <laughs> but he needs to get it together <laughs> because we have to go to work soon so carmen let's see can you go and please eat some breakfast up uh, do not don't eat brownies for breakfast See, like, that's what I'm like. She's been doing very, very odd things that Carmen doesn't normally do. And it's kind of odd to me. Like, Carmen does yeah. not eat brownies for breakfast or anything sweet for breakfast. So I'm just really confused about that. Before they go to, well, I was going to say before they go to work, I was going to have Quinn um, put some laundry on. But that's not going to happen because they have to go to work. Quinn is absolutely a neat sim. I feel like he would love his house and wherever he is to be very neat and tidy and put together. I'm going to, I don't know why I always do like a really short clip of the morning with their like slight morning routine. I really wonder what's going on with Carmen. She's just really not feeling her like 100% best. And hmm, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. So Carmen and Quinn are finally off of work. It only took them 70 years, <laughs> but luckily their bags are already packed and they don't have to do that. They were smart enough to do it the night before. And I think I'm just going to let Carmen refill her water bottle and Quinn refill his water bottle. And Carmen, I think is the one that's going to set the trip. I guess Carmen was listening to music this morning. I don't know who this is at our door. Carmen got a promotion. I think she's now the senior manager. Great, great. I think Quinn was already senior manager. Great. So they're just gonna refill their water bottles. Their plane leaves in about an hour, I believe. So Carmen took her birth control. Let's see, let's see where she's at with that. Okay, she's officially on birth control. Okay, good. So I don't know why all of our speakers are on. 
that's really weird i did not turn those on i think we're gonna take a couple of things with us on our trip i feel like carmen would take her laptop i don't think quinn would take his because he really wants to submerge himself in the whole vacation experience carmen's a little bit different but that's all right so i'm gonna have carmen clean out the fridge really quick and then we are going to set our vacation and if y'all are wondering who's going on vacation with us well here's where you find out <laughs> we're gonna take daniel emmanuel isabella amina we're going to take auntie melody uncle mateo um actually no that's wrong that's wrong that's wrong we're taking our siblings we're taking brendan aubrey and who else am i missing nasir where is he i lied we're not taking amina we're taking quinn daniel emmanuel isabella brendan aubrey and nasir and we're gonna go on a little vacation to mount como the only reason we're not taking amina is simply because there's not enough people which really sucks because I would love for Amina to come with us. We might invite her to join us when we get there, but as of coming on our flight with us, we couldn't do that. So I don't know why Christian Moreno is at our door. So as you all can see, Miss Aubrey got a little bit of a makeover and I'm kind of obsessed with her. Let's see, there's going to be a one bedroom, two bedrooms three bedrooms four bedrooms i think bella's my bella's i think oh here it is this is the one that, okay yeah so this one has six bedrooms we're going to stay for two days i think and i'm so excited So here we are in Mount Como. I am so stinking excited about this trip. Look at the siblings already getting cozy. Look at, see, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. Carmen literally slept all the way here on the flight and she's still sleeping. That's so odd for her. Anyway, so we are not going to waste any time. I do need to, also I got this off of the gallery if i can find it because i've been doing a lot of gallery downloads lately if i can find it on the gallery i will definitely either put it on the screen or in the description below so we need to figure out whose room is who so i would love for this to be the like siblings room so i think i'm going to try to make that happen because i think this is going to be carmen and quinn's room this is going to be aubrey and Brendan's room. I think Nasir's room is behind us. Oh no, it's not. So one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom. Is there one downstairs? Okay, yeah. So this one can actually be uh, uh, Quinn and Carmen's. This is going to be Quinn and Carmen's. This is going to be Aubrey and Brendan's. This is going to be Nasir's. This can be the boys' room. And then Isabella can really stay down here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put a little bit of a, well, let's see. Let's see if we can put like a bed here. That's not a toddler bed. Ooh, no, it won't let me. It looks like we might have to do a bunk bed situation. Oop, I moved that rug. We might not be able to do a bunk bed. Okay, so I was able to figure out how to put a bunk bed there. It's not the cutest situation, but it will definitely work for now. I am going to assign beds very quickly. So this is going to be Carmen and Quinn's room. This is also something that's very important to do when um, you go somewhere because people will end up sleeping in the wrong bed. So we'll do that. And then this is going to be, let's see, we will do the right side to Aubrey and the left side to Brendan. And then this is Nasir, he can sleep on whatever side, I don't really care. So, now that we are here, it seems like everybody is kind of hungry. So maybe, since Carmen is sleeping for whatever reason, how many people can sit at this table? Six, 
and there's eight of them hmm it might be all right it might be all right i'm gonna have quinn do hot pot with others he's gonna do some sukiyaki he's gonna do with brendan daniel emmanuel nasir it doesn't even look like aubrey wants to eat which is fine so we're gonna have them all go do a hot pot i don't know why carmen is sleeping like i really want her to wake up this bathroom is really cute this is a really great build. Oh yeah, y'all definitely need to, to check this one out for sure. I'm gonna have Carmen go run and use the restroom. She is also really thirsty. She is also hungry, but it's <laughs> Did Quinn fall asleep? fell asleep at the table. Oh my gosh, this is so <laughs> This is so funny, I'm sorry. I so stupid <laughs> Gwen fell asleep at the table I need you to wake up okay thank you make some sukiyaki with the boys and Isabella please don't go grill anything I might hurt you if you grill something Carmen is done using the restroom her and Carmen look like they're coming downstairs I <laughs> Her and Carmen, oh my gosh. Her and Aubrey look like they're coming downstairs. Aubrey's running to the restroom. How do y'all like Aubrey's little makeover? I know we're kind of invading her privacy with her on the toilet, but how do y'all like her little makeover? I think she's so adorable. So since Carmen is hungry and it looks like the boys decided to eat without them, she's gonna serve her and Aubrey. Just a little something simple. We're just gonna do some onigiri. We'll make a, we'll make a party size since there's a bunch of us here. And we can snack on it later. It is nine o'clock, and I don't know why Quinn keeps falling asleep at this table. I'm gonna cheat his sleep because he's about to make me upset. Okay, thank you. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. I really do want her and Aubrey to become just a little bit closer because I just feel like they would be really good friends. So we do have a wedding that's coming up, which I'm really excited about. Um, we have a wedding, I think, I don't know, probably the next, it'll probably end up being next season, uh, where Brendan and Aubrey will finally get married. Let's go ahead and grab a serving of this, because Carmen is really tired. So Quinn is just kind of talking to everybody, and he's like, hey, you know, who wants to go snowboarding, or sledding, or skiing, and Isabella's like, me, please, can we please go? So... They may do a little bit of sledding, but Carmen is like, I'm just so tired. I don't, I don't really want to do anything. <laughs> this is really cute. This was a great idea. They're over here just eating their little one pot. That's so adorable. Carmen is literally exhausted. She's over there falling asleep. This actually is. Really exciting. I know this is a very, very long episode. I forgot to mention that this is the season finale. <laughs> I love how we're 30 minutes in and I haven't said it yet. <laughs> Do y'all hate me? I know y'all probably hate me. I'm so sorry. But this is definitely going to be the season finale of the power couple scenario. The next season, we have a lot of things coming that I'm super excited about. Um, this episode is probably going to be an hour. I can't lie to y'all. Um, as she says, like 45 minutes in. Anyways, that's not the point. So I think everybody is going to, I know at least Carmen. Carmen is going to go to sleep because she's just so exhausted and she cannot figure out why. And it's really frustrating her. Like she genuinely cannot keep her eyes open. So she's going to go ahead and brush her teeth. And as she walks into the room, she's kind of telling everybody, she's like, hey, everybody, I'm going to bed. I'll see y'all in the morning, yada, yada, whatever, whatever. Quinn is like, babe, are you okay? As she kind of, you know, walks through the room. She's like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just really, really tired. He's like, but you slipped all the way here. And she's like, I know. I just, I don't know. Maybe it's jet lag. It's just, just jet lag. I'm fine. I'm just going to go to bed. So everybody say goodnight to Carmen. We're out here just chatting it up. And we're going to drink some water while we're over here talking. And I think that Quint, oh, I'm just calling him Quentin. Yikes, he would kill me. Um, I think Quinn is going to take Bella out for just a little bit of sledding because that's something that she really wants to do. So maybe we will go with Bella 
sledding because she's so excited and we're gonna be we have a full day of activities tomorrow so it's nothing that i'm worried about so he's like hey kiddo you want to go and uh do some sledding and she's like oh my gosh yes <laughs> she's so thinking cute is Quinn gonna put on his cold weather wear because there is no way he's about to go out here in his work clothes Quinn do not go out here in your work clothes I just had to get a picture of this moment with Quinn and Bella they look so adorable Quinn is just thinking oh, I can't wait to do stuff like this with my kids oh that's so cute okay so let's see Ooh, let's see if Bella wants to go sledding with us she seems super excited I think we're gonna go on the one that has um all the little bumps and stuff okay are you going okay they went there to just turn around sounds about right this is so cute oh my goodness look at them go look at them he's like you ready oh <laughs> Quinn is terrified Quinn is absolutely terrified did y'all see his face he was absolutely terrified I can't lie y'all y'all know me I have to get a picture of them his face. He is absolutely horrified. <laughs> Quinn is absolutely horrified. He's like, Bella, are you sure this is a good idea? She's like, yeah, Quinn, just hold on. <laughs> this is too dang cute. Are they going to fall? <laughs> He's like, okay, yep, that's enough for the night. <laughs> so they didn't even do anything, but they are definitely going to go ahead and tuck in for the night i think he is going to literally tuck um isabella in and just tell her good night and he's like that's just the beginning kiddo you know we have a full day planned of fun stuff to do okay we're not sledding again he's like all right kiddo it's like 2 a.m it's time to go to bed of course he's gonna pull out his bike yeah, we had a really bad spooky day. I wasn't really too focused on spooky day, so I'm not upset about it. But we do have a few plans for tomorrow. We are going to go to the karaoke lounge. And I think that there's a restaurant that we're going to have breakfast at, which I'm really excited. And then... Some I know he did not just ride his bike in the house. I'm so done with this game. Anyway, um, where is Isabella? Where did she go? There she is. Oh, she's going to the restroom. We'll let her go to the restroom because Quinn has to go as well. So we'll let him use the one that's down here since this is technically their restroom. Unless that's the one Bella's using. Oh, no, she's... Oh, she's going to bed. Okay, great. Um... Let's come over here and just tuck her in for the night and just tell her, good night, kiddo. I had so much fun. Um, I'm going to put their leftovers away because there are way too many of them in here to be wasting food. And I'm just going to let everybody just relax and have a little sleep. And I will see y'all in the morning. I'm so Florine. <laughs> Carmen actually woke up in the middle of the night and is eating <laughs> again. I just thought I should uh, let y'all know. This is a very busy house. <laughs> Not everybody is sleeping, which I think is an issue, but um yeah i just wanted to kind of point that out she woke up at like 4 a.m to to eat which is odd um anyway so yeah see y'all when everybody's up so stayed floofy yaspa ship noy frisk pay yeah So it is bright and early this morning at 7.30 a.m. 
and Carmen is just like, this house is a mess. We need to get this stuff together. Quinn is going to also go ahead and wake up and brush his teeth. Carmen is going to need to brush her teeth as well after she gets done cleaning. I think that Bella might also be awake. I'm not sure. Yeah, she's not in her room, so she's up somewhere. I don't know where she is. Um, Aubrey needs to also wake up soon because even though these two aren't necessarily hungry, we are still going to go and eat breakfast. He's gonna come over here and he's gonna kind of tell his brother good morning. It's really hard to like control Sims when you're not playing as them. It just makes things very, very difficult. So nobody really slept accordingly. Aubrey did, Aubrey was not out. Oh, it looks like Nasir went to sleep too. Oh, I got the hiccups. It looks like Nasir went to sleep too, which is really good. Um, We're just gonna go ahead and head out. I'm gonna have Carmen. I think we're going into the valley which is a little bit cooler. So I still am gonna have her put on her cold weather wear outfit. He's over here talking to his brother and he's like, hey, you know, maybe you should go and wake up Aubrey. We're about to head out to breakfast soon. He's like, no, bro, I got you. Um, and so he is going to go and wake up Nasir. And I really don't know where Bella is. And I don't know why I can't like lock the camera on her. She's literally disappeared i don't know where she is um that's a little a little scary i have no clue where she is but anyway so we're gonna go ahead and head out she hello 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 was nasir in here like being nasty by himself because if he was <laughs> aubrey is okay okay yeah it's <laughs> Definitely time to go to eat breakfast. <laughs> oh my gosh. So if y'all can tell, I've done up Mount Como just a little bit and we're gonna head out to the Mount Como Rebbe Bar and Grill. We are going to take Quinn, Daniel, Emmanuel, Bella, Brendan, Aubrey, and Nasir. And we're all gonna go and we're gonna eat breakfast. So here we are at the Mount Como Rebbe Bar and Grill. And I'm not sure if there's going to be a table that's big enough to see all of them. I wish that there was. So we're definitely gonna have to sit separately. So let's go ahead and go in here together because it is indeed raining outside. Look at Carmen, she looks so cute. She's so adorable. I love her with her little umbrella, she's so cute. So is Quinn wearing a suit? Why is he wearing a suit, Quinn? <laughs> Is this like a formal restaurant or what? Because why is Quinn wearing a suit? Oh, it's a, it's party wear. Okay, let's go ahead and just put this on because why are you wearing a suit to this restaurant? So we're gonna have Carmen go ahead and request a table. We're definitely gonna have to sit separately. I have no clue where they're gonna seat us, but you know, that's all right. <laughs> the host was literally sitting at the bar. That's so real. Um, I'm gonna put the walls up because I want to appreciate the decor of this restaurant. It's so nice. Also, if I remember, I will put this um, this lot on the gallery as well. I literally just it went on a downloading spree and downloaded a whole bunch of different lots on the gallery. Look at Aubrey. She is so gorgeous. Yes. Okay, Carmen with the red Sorry. bottoms, period. Okay, so I wonder where they sat us. They definitely had to have sat us at different tables because yeah, yeah <laughs> they definitely did. So this gives us a chance to kind of intermingle with everybody, which I think is really nice. The fact that she's sitting over here with Nasir makes me uneasy, but we're not gonna talk about that. So we're gonna order for everybody and we're gonna keep it very, very simple. We're gonna get water for, actually no. We're gonna do a whiskey sour for the boys, the grown men. We're going to do a little bit of wine for the girlies and we're going to do, let's see, iced tea for Bella because she loves tea. We'll give lemonade and what's Manny gonna drink? I don't know, maybe some tea. We'll get Manny some tea. <laughs> um, we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna go straight to the main courses. We're going to get miso ramen for these three. We're gonna get, uh, let's see. We'll get fish yakisoba for the girls. 
and these two can be a little different and get a salmon maki roll and we'll keep it simple that way perfect we are low-key racking up a band in here but that's okay that's what happens when you take your entire family out to eat so i'm gonna have quinn go ahead and sit down and i want him to kind of fix his relationship with aubrey Ooh. Ooh, it got loud real fast. Look at them over there talking across the table. How cute. Let's tell her how pretty she looks. Brendan and Quinn? Yes, they can be close. I think that's sweet. So we're all just chatting it up, having a grand old time. I love the relationship that the siblings have with each other, if that makes any sense. Like Quinn with her siblings, Carmen with his siblings. Like I, I really do appreciate that. So let's tell a little inside joke to Bella. Just kind of talk to everybody because we haven't really had a chance to yet. I don't know what, Ma why is Manny all the way over here? Are you, what are you, where are you going? What are you doing? Hello, why did you run so far from the restaurant? I'm so confused. Anyway, since he decided to make his way back to the restaurant, <laughs> I feel like this is going to take absolutely forever, even though it looks like we may be pretty much the only family in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the walls down really quick but yeah it looks like we're the only family in here so hopefully we get our food within a timely manner it looks like we might because they're back here really cooking and, and taking that time so this is really sweet i love this he literally just ran away for no reason <laughs> that was so weird so this is super cute sorry y'all i'm just like really really quiet because i'm enjoying the family time that they're spending together while we wait on our food <laughs> I love how she's literally being a kid and drawing on the placemat. That is so stinking cute. So we have literally been here for hours and not received our food. So we're just gonna leave. I can't, I can't. Something's wrong with my restaurant. I thought I would give it a couple of hours and see what happened, but her dad's calling. So we're gonna answer. Um, but actually, no, we're gonna call him back. We are gonna go back up the mountain and do a little sledding and snowboarding and skiing and all that stuff. We'll probably get food at the little stalls that are there. We're also gonna have to make another Mount Como trip so we can actually like take the time to just go and do everything that's here because we haven't had the chance to do that because we spent all day at the restaurant, which is annoying, but that's okay. So we are finally up the mountain. I believe that we're just gonna we're just gonna go we're just gonna go and just do everything that we need to do um i'm gonna have quinn and carmen both go use the restroom i don't have control any sim in so i can't have everybody really go sledding and do things like that quinn and carmen of course are riding their bikes all the way over here to use the restroom they could have used it in the house but yeah it's okay so after they do that i kind of want everybody to at least be over here so maybe we can make a little group that would be nice look at carmen she looks so cute um i love quinn's big jacket i'll show y'all in just a second he looks so cute so let's just have everybody come and sit together uh carmen is going to order some food she's gonna order some egg ramen quinn is going to see what he can order from over here he's gonna order some beef yakisoba we're gonna see if everybody comes and sits down maybe not oh oh wow there's fireworks happening is there a festival going on the festival of snow i didn't even know that oh my gosh the festival of snow is happening it's so loud okay i think that everybody is gonna do just a little bit of skiing when carmen and quinn get done where did oh she's over here i was like where did carmen go 
Um, it looks like she's making some friends. Look at that. Go ahead and formally introduce yourself and just kind of say, hey, me and my family were on a vacation. Maybe we can make some friends, some out of town friends and actually have a reason to come back to Mount Como. That would be nice. So it looks like Quinn is going ahead and getting in the line at the um, on the slopes. It looks like Carmen's like, I'll catch up with y'all later. I'm going to go ahead and Ooh, look at these two over here. Oh my gosh. They are too stinking cute. I can't wait for them to get married. Yes. Y'all are too stinking cute. Okay. They're doing a bit much. So Quinn is actually skiing for the first time. Are you tired? Oh, you are tired. Okay. My bad. I'll bump your sleep up just a little bit. Um, maybe we can continuously go at low intensity together. It looks like this is Danny. I think Danny's going to go first. Let's see. Let's see what Danny looks like on the slopes. Not bad. Not bad, Danny boy. Bella and Carmen just became jokesters. That's so cute. I love that. So she's going to come over here and actually give her sister just a little bit of a hug because they haven't spent much time together. I also really want her to come and play with her on the, um, the what's it called? What is this thing called? <laughs> oh, the little spaceship. That's what we're looking for. But, you know. That's not going to happen, but that's okay. <laughs> so is it Quinn? Did Quinn already go? He did. I missed it. He's about to go again. Carmen really doesn't feel like um, skiing or sledding or anything like that. Let's see. I didn't mean skiing or sledding. I meant snowboarding. Let's see if her and Bella can come over here and do a little sledding. That might be fun. Is she taking a picture with the Yamachan? Ah, <laughs> oh, she is. That's so cute. Look. Oh, this is adorable. This is so much fun. I really, I really feel like this was a great idea to take the siblings on a trip, and it wasn't so much pressure to, you know, bring the parents and try to keep Quinn and Quentin from killing each other. Like, I feel like that was a, a very smart idea from Quinn and Carmen. <laughs> he looks so stupid. <laughs> He's gonna hurt himself. Oh my god. She... <laughs> I knew it. I knew he was gonna fall. Okay, anyway. So he's gonna keep skiing. What are these two doing? Oh! That is dumb. That is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at her. Look at her face. This trip is too much. I can't. I can't. So it looks Zero. like Carmen and her little sister are about to go sledding. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Are they going to fall off like her and Quinn? I hope not. I gotta get a picture of them. I didn't. Even, I did not know that the festival of snow was here. That's so cute. I love this. Oh, look at them! They're so stinking cute. Are they gonna fall? <gasps> they didn't fall. Oh, that is too stinking cute. Okay, y'all. This episode was way, 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 way too long. But it is a season finale, so I feel like that would be. It's it's supposed to be that way. So. I am going to end this episode here. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed. And I really hope that y'all are ready for sec the... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I really hope that you guys are ready for the second season because I am. It is going to be so chaotic and I'm so ready for it. Um, please don't forget that you are loved. You are beautiful. There is nobody and I mean absolutely nobody on this earth that is like you. You're unique, you're amazing, and you're loved. And I just thank you guys for supporting me. And y'all, we're almost at 60 subscribers. I can't believe it. I did not think that this channel was going to do as well as it's doing, which is really, really exciting for me. And y'all are just motivating me to put out better content, more quality content. And I just, I really appreciate y'all. Y'all have no idea. But... <laughs> 
Bella has to pee. So, <laughs> so I love y'all so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see y'all. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Don't forget that there is nothing that is impossible because the word itself is I'm possible. <laughs> there we go. Almost forgot it. Um, and I love y'all so much. And I'll see y'all in the next video, in the next season. Bye. Pando, Snursh, Wallop, Epso. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh,